Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about cyber law, IT Act of India, and cyber crimes. Let's uh, move ahead and uh, see what we are going uh, to learn today. We are going to learn about cyber law, IT Act 2000, and Information Technology Amendment Act 2008, uh, and cyber crimes. And at last, we'll talk about cyber forensics also. So first of all, uh, uh, we'll understand what is cyber law. Cyber law is a generic term which refers to all the legal and uh, regulatory aspects of internet and the world wide web. Uh, cyber law actually provides legal protection to people using internet, uh, which include both businesses and the common citizens. Uh, the growth of e-commerce has uh, propelled the need of vibrant and effective uh, regulatory mechanism, which would uh, further strengthen the legal infrastructure. So cyber law is important because it touches almost all aspects of, uh, of transactions, activities on uh, and uh, concerning internet, uh, the world wide web and the cyberspace. Now, um, what is Information Technology Act 2000? The Information Act, uh, Technology Act 2000, uh, often called ITA 2000, is an act of Indian Parliament, number 21 of 2000, notified on 17th October 2000. It is based upon UN CITRAL, as you can see here, uh, that is United Nation Commission for uh, International Trade Relation Law Model uh, Law, which is a model law. So the uh, original law contained 94 sections divided into 13 chapters and 4 schedules. The law is applicable to any person, native or foreigner, uh, involved in cyber crime using computer or network of computers located in India. So in India, the cyber law are enforced through IT Act 2000. IT Act 2000's prime purpose was to provide legal recognition to e-commerce and uh, facilitate filing of uh, e-records uh, with the government. Here uh, we can see an overview of a uh, few of uh, sections and uh, the offenses uh, mentioned under those sections and penalties involved. For example, we can uh, uh, See, like uh, uh, section seven, uh, 67A, publishing imaging uh, images containing sexual content. It uh, it has the penalty of imprisonment up to seven years and a fine up to ten thousand or so. It's like that. So let's move ahead. One can read all sections to know about uh, know more about it. So uh, an amendment in this act came in two thousand eight. It was passed, passed in December 2008 and came into force on October 27, 2009. It uh, provided an additional focus on information security. It has added uh, several new sections on offenses including cyber terrorism and uh, data protection. Introduction to uh, new section like uh, 66A. Um, uh, was the main thing. It, uh, it is uh, about uh, um, sending offensive messages and introduction of uh, uh, section 69 which gave authority the power to, uh, of interception and monitoring or decryption of any information through any computer resource. So um, penalties for child uh, pornography, cyber terrorism and voyeurism. Uh, for the main highlights of this uh, amendment. And uh, in this amendment, uh, we can see the major amendments. Uh, one of them was uh, digital signatures, that is authentication of electronic records by digital signatures get legal recognition. E-documents get uh, legal recognition when we uh, supply our electronic document uh, for some government purpose. So it, is, it has uh, got that recognition. Uh, offenses and uh, penalties. The maximum penalty for any damage to any computer or computer system uh, is a fine up to 1 crore now. So uh, amendment to other law, the other related law such as uh, IPC 1860, uh, Indian Evidence Act, Act uh, 1872, Bankers Book Evidence Act uh, 1891, Reserve Bank of India Act 1934, they all got amended as they are linked to this. IT Act. Uh, IT Act. So uh, now we come to the next term, which is cyber crimes. Uh, cyber crimes are the crimes committed with the use of computers 
or related to computers, especially the internet. It was a definition given by the Cambridge Dictionary. Uh, and cyber crime can be understood as like an awful act where in the computer is either a tool or a target or both. And cyber crime may be defined as a crime in which computer is the object of crime, that is hacking, phishing, spamming, or is used as a tool to commit the offense, that is child pornography, hate crimes, etc. Now, cyber crime uh, can be categorized in two different ways, like uh, crimes that target computers, network on device. Uh, these type of crimes include viruses or uh, DOS attacks and uh, crimes that use computer networks to advance other criminal activities. These type of crime include cyber stalking, uh, phishing, frauds on uh, or identity theft. Right. So, we'll uh, study these cyber crime in detail. First of all, the phishing. Phishing is an attempt to acquire sensitive information such as uh, username, password, uh, credit card details, uh, sometimes money also indirectly by pretending or disguising as a trustworthy entity in an electronic communication. So phishing is uh, typically carried out by email uh, spoofing or instant messaging. It often uh, directs the user to enter personal information at a fake website which looks real and feel uh, legitimate and identical to the original website except the URL is different. So communication appears to be from a social website or auction website, bank, online payment uh, or IT administrator, uh, administrator may lure the person to enter his uh, personal confidential information and he may get caught. So phishing emails uh, may contain links to website that may distribute malware also. Uh, how to protect from phishing? Never open or download a file from un solicited or uninvited email. Now uh, keep your operating system updated. Use a reputable antivirus program. Enable two-factor authentication like OTP and all. Uh, confirm the authent uh, authenticity of the website or, uh, um, prior to entering login credentials also. L look for HTTPS uh, in the address bar of your browser when you enter any sensitive personal information on the website to make sure that the data will be encrypted and uh, next is the illegal downloading sometime it is also referred as digital piracy uh, is obtaining file that you don't have the right to use from the internet so uh, digital piracy involves illegal sharing uh, of copyrighted media such as games music uh, movies tv shows software the person carrying out the illegal downloading can face punishment and fine whether he or she uploads that content to share uh, with others uh, without permission or whether he or she downloads for it, it for free uh, or for a bargain price. So uh, it's an unethical act of illegal uh, downloading should be discouraged. So uh, to prevent heavy losses to a developer or the producer or the creator of the information. Now comes the child uh, pornography. Child pornography is publishing or transmitting obscene material about the children in electronic form. It's a most extremely evil or horrible crime which is uh, which occurs and has led various crimes such as sex uh, tourism, sexual abuse of child etc. It has increased uh, due to easy access to the internet and easy availability of the videos on the internet and child pornography uh, law laws provide severe penalties uh, for uh, producer and the distributors including imprisonment and uh, even for non-commercial distribution, depending on the content and uh, extent of the material distributed. Uh, next is the cyber scams or fraud. Uh, cyber or internet fraud is a type of fraud or mm, deception which makes uh, use of one or more components of the uh, internet such as chat room, email, uh, message boards, uh, etc. And could involve hiding the information or providing incorrect information for uh, for the purpose of tricking victim uh, victim out of money, property, or uh, inheritance. Various uh, type of uh, cyber um, frauds or scams are credit card or uh, debit card frauds, uh, non delivery of goods or services fraud, spoofing and phishing scam, identity theft, auction fraud, and others. Now, first of all, we'll see this uh, um, 
credit card and uh, uh, debit card fraud the, the fraudsters obtained uh, credit and, or debit card uh, numbers of victim from unsecured uh, web media and uh, used them to carry out illegal and unethical transaction without any um, proper authorization and uh, non delivery of good and service uh, fraud is very common these days it refers to a scam in, in which the people are encouraged to pay for goods or services via web portal and nothing is delivered to the buyer Next is the spoofing or phishing scam. Spoofing is a type of uh, uh, fraud in which a fraudster uh, masquerades or pretends as another person by using uh, uh, the other person's identity to transact business and obtain uh, vital information such as bank account number, credit uh, card number, or associated passwords. Phishing is a form of uh, spoofing. So, identity theft uh, is another. Uh, thing it refers to the use of another person's uh, personal information such as name and uh, login detail without appropriate consent and then posing at uh, as that person online for the purpose of fraudulent activities or practices uh, often uh, personal information may be even leaked online or stolen uh, during web surfing so um, auction fraud auction frauds are like people are encouraged to participate in auction online and when the money has been paid for specific item the fraudsters uh, would send either a lower substandard item or uh, a counterfeit item so uh, the other uh, cyber crimes are like tampering with computer uh, source document like uh, uh, you are tampering with the source code of a software or uh, operating system also hacking or cracking is uh, another part of it publishing the of information which is obscene in electronic form abusing uh, somewhere on the internet is also a, a cyber crime accessing protected systems and uh, breach of confidentiality and privacy uh, to publish uh, private photographs of someone or uh, private, inf private information without uh, uh, proper authorization or permission is also a cyber crime. So now comes the term called cyber forensic. Cyber forensic is an electronic discovery techniques used to determine reveal technical criminal evidences. So it is often uh, electronic data storage extraction from le for legal purposes actually it is being used by uh, cyber experts so uh, cyber forensic is a gaining transaction as a viable way of interpreting evidences now uh, it's also called computer forensics so various capabilities uh, of cyber forensics are uh, recovering the deleted files find out the external devices have been attached or what user access them or to determine what program ran uh, recover web page or uh, recover the emails or users who read them, recover chat logs, uh, determine the file server used in various activities now uh, over the internet and discover documents, hidden history, recover phone records and uh, SMS uh, text messages, find malware and data collections. So it is, uh, and so for, for the quality content related to this topic, you can refer these two books and feel free to ask any question on the topic. Thank you so much.